Today on the channel, we grab our weapons with Man at Arms Masters Universe Revelations. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another deluxe edition Masters Universe Revelations unboxing and review and today on the channel we've got Man at Arms but for all your He-Man needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store use the link in the description below but today Man at Arms comes to us from Target that is where I picked him up as for right now at least he seems to be a Target exclusive and Man at Arms of course Duncan himself is probably my favorite character in the Masters Universe and I remember watching the Revolution Revelation I should say series on Netflix and the whole time just kind of relating to old Duncan myself and said man I'm getting old I could really uh, uh, align with old Man at Arms right here. So Man at Arms a favorite and not his first go around in this line either and we'll compare that later on in this very video but of course we're gonna do this video like we do all the other ones on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there so without further ado let's see what old Man at Arms is up to in the old deluxe package and he's got a ton of accessories as he is not per se a deluxe figure but with all these big weapons little soft goods cape action huh we might have that back there as well he did turn deluxe overnight, but looking good here in the big window box packaging. We've known this one. We've seen this before. Netflix logo, Master Universe Revelations, Man at Arms. Got that UPC code. Nobody knows what it does. Masterverse on the top with all the hieroglyphics. Heroic Master of Weapons, Man at Arms on the side there. And looking good on the side over here. Got a little gray. It's an older Man at Arms. He's getting old. Time stops for no one, as they always say. And on the back there he is firing the big old weapon. Got the cross cell down below. Find those at your local Target or Big Bad Toy Store. These figures down here. Got a little blurb action. Let's see what it says about our old pal, Man at Arms. Let's see here. King Randor stripped Duncan of his title as the Royal Man at Arms and banished him from the kingdom under penalty of death. He lived in exile for years until one day his daughter Tila came seeking his help. Though bound by both decree from the king and his own honor, Duncan arms himself for the battle against evil with the fate of Eternia once again on the line. And man, making the tough decisions is what Duncan was doing. And we know he made the right one. We know he made the right one. Uh, a guy with a heart of gold. He always means well, man at arms. There it is, that old uh, brick style background. Very cool, like a castle wall. See you later. Goodbye. And then we get the old plastic prison. Oh yeah, we got some soft goods. Uh oh, I don't like this though. We got... Once again, cape on the tape. We don't like tape on our cape. We don't like capes on our tape. We don't like it either way. And we do got that here today, unfortunately. Seems to be okay. And then, of course, we're buckled in all over the place with Man at Arms. But there he is. A lot of stuff going. Truly a two-in-one, three-in-one. You count it however you want to figure here. Uh, definitely might have to pick up multiples of these. Might play a little of that long game. I might grab another one of these when it goes to clearance uh, and have both versions of Man at Arms. Like I said, he is probably my favorite character from the Revelation series. So I really did uh, really did uh, relate relate to Man at Arms there because I've been exiled by the king a few times. That was my dad back in the day. He said, Kyle, you're graduating college. You can't come home. I paid the first month of uh, your rent of your new apartment. You'll figure it out from there. That's what we call tough love. That's what we call hard times, baby. That's where you got to get a couple of jobs to support yourself. But my dad did the right thing. And I'm sure if I would have been in trouble and I couldn't have paid the mortgage, he would have said, all right, I'll float you for another month. But after that, you're on your own. Uh, but that's hard times. Let's be in exile. It's kind of like uh, man in arms being in exile. The king said, no more. No more, Duncan. Figure it out for yourself going forward. Pull him out. There we go. Got all the kind of accessories here. This is truly a man at arms is what we have right here. Gonna pop that out. Shin guards. He's ready to play for the Oakland A's. He's going to fill in for Terry Steinbach. It's going to happen. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right. We got everything out of the package. We got twist ties everywhere. All over the carpet. Just dropped them on the floor. Yay me. Yay for my vacuum. But let's take a look at this old man at arms here. See what all the fuss is about. And let me tell you, there's been fuss. There's been fuss about this man at arms. But we do get two hands, and I love it. Duncan comes to fight. He's got two fists of fury over here. He's ready to throw down. Uh, Clawful gets in his face. Bam, bam. He's going to give him the old one-two punch right there. Uh, and then we do got two gripping hands here, which most likely I will be using for this figure, the two gripping hands. So we do have those. 
Then we continue on here. We got some weapon action here. So we do got a little uh, forearm uh, blaster type gizmo and gadget, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Masters Universe is always interesting to me because it brings kind of the Conan old school feel of like a barbarian type person. That would be He-Man, of course. But then all the technological uh, advances and all the crazy robotic weapons and robots in Roboto's case, things like that. So a little best of both worlds, like a young Hannah Montana, exactly what we got here. We got this little forearm uh, weapon right there. Got the big old blaster gun. How about that? Always love stuff like this. Uh, no gimmicks or anything. It looks like you'd almost put an effect in there, but there's nothing to go with it. Just a big, big old cannon. Sit it over the side there. He's like a young rock and roll from G.I. Joe is what he is with that. And then we do get some of this stuff. So we do get uh, some shin guards here, of course, when he's catching on the weekends. Uh, he's catching for the Oakland A's, I'm sure. But he's got the gold and black. So maybe he's an Oriole. He could be an Oriole. Who knows? Uh, very possibly could be with Billy and Cal. Yes, Cal Ripken as well. We do got those. Got the big old chest protector here, and he's even got a weapon on the side of this. So you got a little blaster, pistol, weapon, whatever you want to call it, and this does have all kinds of interesting things to it. So this does open up if, if you need it to open up for whatever reason. Uh, but it does have a little effect piece there you can move around. It's got a little hinge, so not exactly sure what the, all the fuss is about with that one. And then you got this. Can come off if you really want it to. It just plugs in back in there. So an interesting thing. Interesting on here where these hinges are here. It's not doesn't do a whole lot. I don't know. Is, it, is the juice worth the squeeze right there? I'm not exactly sure. You get the big orange apparatus with a little black piping around it. On point for man-at-arms as we do know. Looking good with that. And then we do got the other forearm, arm guard, whatever you want to call it, all in black here. Nice little spike on there, a little stud. He can give somebody a little wham with his hand if he needs to. Looking good right there. Now we're going to dive into old man-at-arms himself right here. An interesting version. This is like hobo days of uh, man-at-arms. Of course, he's wearing a cape because why wouldn't you wear a cape? Cape season, after all. We know it. We love it. We want some more of it, but he's got a little cape action going there, all kinds of stuff. He can protect himself with this cape from the elements, of course, use it as a blanket, use it uh, for whatever you need to use a cape for, and you look really regal, uh, but he does look really nice here. I love the green outfit he's got going on, of course, rolled up at the sleeves, got the forearms showing, a little bit different skin tone between the hands and the forearms, which does kind of uh, play with your mind a little bit when you do look at it. It looks like he's got a little sack here off to the side. Uh, I don't know what he's got going on in there. It doesn't uh, open or anything like that. It is sculpted in. He's got a nice black belt with a brown belt underneath the black belt. Uh, got interesting wrappings on his boots, of course. He's got some nice khakis going on. He does got a little bit of a scarf up front here looking interesting. Talked about the cape. Beautiful feel to this cape. I'm here for that. Looks like he's got a little bit of a, a wraparound for the up top as well, so he can kind of move that there interesting cape. There's a lot going on with this cape. Uh, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm probably going to get two of these. I'm going to display one with all this stuff going on, and then I'll display Hobo Days, Duncan, as well. But an interesting cape on this one, but I do like the material they used. Very, very nice. Uh, and then you get down to the head sculpt on him. A very interesting bearded head. He's got a little knot up at the top. Uh, I wonder who's doing his hair. Uh, and then he's got his long hair down the back looking really nice. I'm here for that. Big bushy beard. A little bit of gray in there. He's a guy that's seen th some things as we do know. But a good enough head sculpt. I think it's on point. A little bit small, maybe. It feels like the head might be a little bit small to the body. Just a hair small. Then you do get the second head, which really tells you you need to make get two of these. You got two in one. You put this head with this body, or this body, obviously, but this stuff, and then this head with here. I think it writes itself at this point. It looks really, really good, but definitely a good head sculpt. I always love him with his helmet on, but I kind of like this... Uh, hipster version this older hipster version of duncan as well looking really nice but head of course removable head side to side up and down plenty of up and down a lot more down than i anticipated uh up isn't as much because it's limited by his hair of course arms gonna go all the way around for you you got the big old bicep cut man man and arms in his time off been working on the uh, gym there he's got big old biceps Pinless joints, of course, double jointed, a little bit of looseness. We see this with this line as the joints in the elbows especially have a little bit of looseness all the time, it does seem. Hands back forth, side to side. Hands, of course, are removable as we do know. We get the waist articulation and then you get the hula hoop at the top. Just a little bit of extra articulation there. He can do the big old splits if he needs to. You got the thigh cut. Double jointed pinless knees. We're playing the hits there on the knees. We do got a boot cut. And then you got the ankles back and forth, side to side. Plenty of good ankle movement on this one. 
Feels good, looks good, feels good in hand for sure. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. Make sure you do use a Mattel stand, and what do you know? He fits perfectly on the Mattel stand right there. A good, good representation right here. I really like what I've seen. Of course, we do got an older version from this line, a more classic style, of course, of uh, Man at Arms. And this is what this one's kind of representing, a more of an uh, updated take, I guess we'd say on this one some similarities but some differences definitely new products new sculpt new new accessories things like that but definitely does look really good uh definitely need all versions of man at arms in my collection like i said he is gun to my head probably my favorite character from the masters of the universe so i'm definitely gonna pick up another one of these i've convinced myself as the video has went along I will get another version of this one. Uh, maybe wait for a little clearance game, wait for a sale, wait for something, a gift card, you name it. I'll wait for something, but I'll get another Man at Arms here in my collection. Just a really cool looking figure. And I always love these two in one figures, but it's always a love and hate with them because I love that they give us two different options. I hate that I always end up buying a second one. That's the problem with that. But very cool, very on point to the show. So if you weren't a fan of the show, you probably don't need this. But if you do want it, you'll probably put all this stuff on him. That is my guess. But what say you guys out there in YouTube? land what do you think about this man at arms figure picking it up playing the long game easy pass let me know in the comments down below of course you made it this far don't forget to like this video subscribe to this very youtube channel as you guys know we got videos every single day and then some yes and then some and we got all kinds of content for you on the patreon early access to videos like this bonus videos exclusive videos q a's pizza reviews you name it a ton of stuff going on over at the patreon and best of all you do support the channel and all of its content. You can also support the channel ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. Instagram. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Man at Arms. I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.